are double digit horsepower gains just from honing possible? You better believe it's possible. And in fact, we can show you how to do it. All you gotta do is attend one of the Rottler Total Seal hands-on honing classes. We did two last year and they were both sold out phenomenal successes. And the key is we walk you through every step of the process, not just of how to hone, but why you need to hone differently than you did in the past. And we actually get into the details of piston ring metallurgy and the coatings on those piston rings and how that affects piston ring seal, because that's how the power gains are made. It's not just from the hone, it's not just from the ring, it's how the rings and the hone and the oil all interact together to create ring seal. Better ring seal equals more horsepower, and we're gonna show you how to do it if you attend one of these hands-on honing classes. Now, one of the key things we do is that we begin in the classroom. Like I just said, we go through and explain the coatings, the metallurgy, the why behind the new honing process. But we don't just stop with the educational piece in the classroom. We move beyond that. We get into showing you how to use the profilometer, how to use the software, the right tools to measure the finish you're creating. Because if you can't create the correct finish, you're not gonna get the correct results. So what we want to do is not only tell you the why behind the method, we're going to give you the ability to measure to make sure that you're creating that. Then the final step, the thing that's the most valuable is getting out there, getting your hands on the hone and going through the different processes, using the correct roughing abrasives, getting within a few tenths of size, being able to use that software to see exactly how close to size you need to come for your application to get the hone right. That's right, there's not a single recipe. Each application is gonna have its own unique characteristics. So this process will show you how to dial in the honing process in order to create the correct finish for each application. That way you get the maximum performance for your application. And we do that by being there at the hone, using different roughing abrasives, measuring it, going to different finishing abrasives, different speeds, different loads, training, using a brush, not using a brush. We go through all of that and we do it all in one day. So the great opportunity is to come in, whether you're experienced at honing or brand new to honing, whether you honed a thousand blocks or have never honed a single block, you can come here, spend one day, and you're gonna see the entire picture from the beginning to the end, the why behind the what of modern honing, and I guarantee you, you'll leave knowing more than you showed up, and you'll be able to make more horsepower because of it. Performance Expo Lake, I love seeing you get your hands dirty. <laughs> get in there. But I had my gloves on, so I didn't burn them, you know, my caustic well, acids. Yeah, you were working the muscles, though. I mean, I that's still, that matters. And before know. we go too far, Mark Malberg <laughs> from Digital Metrology joining us here in the studio. Mark, welcome back. Hey, it's great to be here. This is fun. And excited, and I want to let everybody know, if you're out there watching on YouTube live in the chat section, we can see you. Good morning to everybody out there. If you have questions throughout the day and you want to engage with us or our guests, feel free to put it up in the chat and share the show and invite your friends, as we're going to learn a lot today and we just did and we will in the future something that happened last year these honing classes yes. lake uh, amazing to see how many people who have been doing any one thing as their career or profession mm -hmm. for a long time there's always something new to learn and I think that was the experience. Well, Mark, yeah. you were just saying a second ago about your experience at PRI. Right. So at PRI, we did kind of a miniature version of this honing class that we've been doing together. Mm -hmm. And um, the comments blew me away. There are people that have been involved honing for 30, 40 years. Right. And they said they learned more in 30 minutes with us than they've learned over the 40 year span. Now, I think there's a little exaggeration going on, <laughs> but the point is that we don't take time to step back and learn. We're too busy doing. Mm -hmm. 
and I think you you get that as well, right? The density of information that we can pack into a day. Well, to me, it's the hands-on hunting class connects all the dots. Oh, it yeah. takes you from the why to the what. So you mm -hmm. can't be very focused on the process. The, oh, I use this grid abrasive. Right. I go to this many strokes or this load or this sizing. Yeah. But why are you doing that? Right, right. And we're coupling that with actually helping people see what's going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that little video we were showing before, right? right. And this is okay. This is one of these. Uh, keep me on on rails here, guys, because yeah, I could go I could that. go off the tracks on this one. We've no, got no. you kind of surrounded, right, Thank Joe? You. Yeah, you, do, you got me uh, boxed in here. <laughs> this little piece right here, this USB microscope, absolute game changer. Right? You just yeah. saw in the video how we were using that to inspect the scuff to make sure we got all the aluminum out of it. Right. Okay, that's just one example of what this thing can do. And yeah. you, you've been using this longer than I have, so sure. you, you kind of brought it to us. So thank you, Mark, for doing that. I'm so, there for you, buddy. So I appreciate it. So <laughs> talk a little bit about how this changes how we see what we've been doing. Yeah, and I think that's been the case with honing across the board, is we've been honing until things feel right and we've got the right size, but we really haven't applied any craftsmanship to it. Mm -hmm. It's push a button, get a number of strokes, and move on. And now we're seeing inside, and we're able to control things better that we can see better. Mm -hmm. And whether it's crosshatch or material integrity or scuffs or whatever, um, having eyes in the bore along with some of this knowledge we're connecting to engine performance right. has been huge. Well, okay, so hang on, because this is going to about to get deep. So, because Mark is a genius on this kind of stuff. You know, you can look at a bore, yeah. and you can look at it and say, oh, you know, it looks kind of dull, or it looks bright. Yeah. Now, a lot of that is based on the angle right because the the light that we see is the light that's reflected yes so your eye is terrible at measuring height <laughs> that's awesome. um, you, it's not just you, my de bad depth perception okay <laughs> no um depth perception of a surface your eye is like terrible so look at the back of aluminum foil versus the front it's shiny and dull guess what it's the same roughness the roughness of the back and the front is the same but the little microscopic slopes are different. One side is kind of like sand and the other side is kind of like plow marks. And those plow marks are smooth to your eye. Well, okay. getting that kind of knowledge of looking at a surface that's dull or shiny, your brain says rough or smooth. No, we've got to go inside. We've got to have the tools. We've got to have that honing class, the experience mm -hmm. to start turning the knobs and seeing what changes and measuring it, not guessing. Oh, hey, see, that's what it's all about. That's why that hands-on honing class, it, to me, is so valuable for anyone that's doing machine work or, e or engine building, for that matter, right? Because right. you can have it honed. That's great. If you don't have the hone, somebody else is going to do it. But you can check that work. You can see what's going on. And it's not just about what it is coming out of the machine. Yeah. That used engine, oh, before yeah. you send it back to be machined, it has a story. It will talk to you if you have the tools that allow you to listen. Absolutely. And we'll get that experience of what are those shapes, what matters. Mm -hmm. um, what I found just this last year has been super exciting in this world is people have never seen their surfaces before. Right. They push a button, the machine goes up and down, and they build an engine. Mm -hmm. And now they're saying, oh, the shape is different from this bore to this bore, this engine to this engine. Let's get better control. Right. So, well, I was going to say it's about having the right tools for the right job at the right time. And as much as we've seen technology advance just in the high performance aspect, it's also advancing in the tools to do the job. And I think that's what, when you discovered this or Mark brought it forth, uh, that opened up this whole new world. And obviously, you're very excited about it. Let's talk about when these honing classes are happening. I know there's a lot of people out there that are interested. I've seen some people in the chat section already okay, wanting to know about, you know, where to get the trick, Scotch Bright, and different okay, stuff. Yeah. But the whole class, uh, give us the schedule as best as you know it. Okay, 
So there's going to be four hands-on hunting classes coming up in 2024. That's four for 24. Hey, <laughs> works. Yeah. So the first one will be March 16th at EFI University at Vince Dredger's place. Uh, that's going to be so that, he'll have that available on his site, EFI 101, in the next week or so. But that'd be March 16th. That's the first one. The second one will be back here in June here at Straub Technologies, like we did one last year here. Mm -hmm. And that's the same weekend as the Bristol NHRA race. Thunder Valley Nationals. So just plan to come to the Thunder Valley Nationals and extend your trip a couple of days on the front side. Yes, on the front side. So we'll do it on the Thursday ahead of the race. So the race is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you're a sportsman racer, whatever you want to come in, get some experience. Yeah. So Thursday before that one. And then the last two are going to be in the fall. Uh, we'll get those dates locked in later, uh, but we'll have one at Rottler and then the other one at UNOH in uh, Lima, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, we did one at toward the end of this past year at UNOH. Fantastic facility. It's a good central location in the Midwest. It's uh, in northwestern Ohio. Yeah. Uh, and as an oil guy, it's a there's some history there too. I won't get into that now. It's, I'll take a lot all of great day. racers come from. Uh, I've heard Lima, Ohio. Yeah. Lima, Lima, potato, potato. I don't know. I don't yeah. speak English. I'm a Lima guy, so all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom so, line, though, those classes are coming up this year. If you're interested, obviously, there's more information. You can reach out for the TBD events, but I would plan to hit one this year. Absolutely, this can be fantastic. Stay tuned. We'll have all the information on the Engine Performance Expo website as well as uh, Total Seal. So. Speaking of all that, the next video happens to be from Jeremy Wagler talking about some stuff that Mark has some familiarity with because <laughs> Mark used to work for Cummins. Yes. And this is a Cummins engine. And Jeremy's going to talk to us about some of the valve train problems they've seen with some of the newer diesel engines. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> What a day, what a day, what a day. Uh, yeah, my brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. He told us, don't start cars. We are not going to listen. 